Yo, what's up YouTube? It's your boy Travis Dykes. Today we're gonna be learning the pentatonic scale, the first three positions of it, and how we can use them in our playing. So without further ado, here's the lesson. All right, now first things first, what is a pentatonic scale? A pentatonic scale is a five tone scale. Penta means five and tonic means uh, tone. <laughs> and so that makes it a five tone scale. And so what are those five tones? Let's check it out. All right, so we'll be in the key of A as an apple. <laughs> All right, uh, and so what we're gonna do, the, the pentatonic is gonna be and I'm gonna give this in numbers and I'll give it in notes as well. So uh, in numbers, it's gonna be the one, two, three, five, six, and then back to the one right here. Octave. All right, now in uh, notes, it will be this. It'll be A, B, D flat, E, G flat, and back to A. So it's five notes, five different notes we got. All right, five different notes. And the way this is used commonly is just, it's all, it's like the shell of like the major scale because it's not hitting all the colors. The, the colors that it's missing is the four and the seven. Um, and so like, it makes it go with a lot more chords because it's it's not like kind of you know kind of just like focused on one type of chord so like i mean like you could this is all major this is a major pentatonic and then we're, when we go up these positions it's all going to be the same notes just in different um a different order just like we did with our modes lesson if you haven't checked that out you should check it out um and uh i don't i have it in the description so and so what I like to do is so when we play, when you play this, after you play, you learn this, um, I like to extend it to the G string. So like right here, so go like, just so I can finish it out. So here we go. So in numbers, this would be one, two, three, five, six, one, two and three so that two and three is on the g string so a note to be a b d sharp or d flat e g flat a b uh and d flat all right all right so this is our first position right here Extended position. All right. So now the next position is going to be um, on the two, on the next note up. Um, and it's gonna just be a little bit of a different pattern, same notes, um, just like I said before. So here we go. So we're gonna start with two, three, five, six, back to one, two, three, five. All right, so now a note to be A, or sorry, not A, B, uh, D flat, E, a G flat, A, B, uh, D flat, and E. All right, so that's a little bit of a different sound compared to the first one. All right, and remember this is extended, so it really stops right here but we're just extending it to the G string so we can have it go all the way down instead of having to stop right there. So we know our, our whole canvas. Hopefully we're more 
creating. All right. So now the third one, the last position we're gonna go over today is right here. It's gonna start on the three. So we're gonna do three, five, six, one, two, three, five, six. Go back down. All right, so now with the um, notes, it's gonna be D flat, E, G flat, A, B, D flat, uh, E, and G flat. All right, now that we know all three of our positions, we need to try to practice them and try to mold them together so we can start seeing how the pattern works on the neck of the bass. So first exercise we could do is we can go up our pentatonic, our first position of our pentatonic, and then come back down on the next one, the next uh, position, and then go back up on the third position. And then come back down and then go back up the next position and then come back down on the first position and remember this is the major pentatonic scale uh, starting on the one and then the two and then the three so yeah so that's the first exercise that you, I want you to try uh, another one um, is just practicing going backwards down them so going going right here so go all the way down the first position, then all the way down the second, and then all the way down the third position. And so I know this seems like, okay, this is really systematic and not really, you know, giving me any licks, but what you need to know before you start trying to create licks is just where your notes are. If, you, if your pattern is not locked in with your fingers, then, then you're just gonna have a lot of mistakes happening. Most, like a lot of the time that happened with me. So just connecting, making this connection between them really helps, 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 helps. <laughs> I don't know why I said that that many times, but hey, it helps. <laughs> All right, so now um, one of the last things I wanna cover is the, um, the extended pentatonic scale. So now with knowing these scales, we know them, now we know them um, kind of vertically. Now we need to learn them horizontally. So, um, and so which the way we're going to do that is through an extended scale which I, I like to I call it an extended pentatonic scale but the way it goes it goes like this and this is the lick this is actually that first lick one of the first licks I did at the beginning of the video uh, had this which is this so what I did at the beginning of the video that's literally just the pentatonic scale so check this out so we're going to start on the one and then we're gonna to go to the two. And so that kind of counts for our first position. And then we're gonna slide up to our second position to the three, the five, six, back to the one right there, two, three, five, six. And so that's that's going to be our, um, our our scale. So like, let's go back down. So we go. Sorry. Here we go. And so what this is doing is it's connecting all three positions together to um, to make a lick. Like, and this is exactly how you use the pentatonic scale when it comes to to making licks. Because what happens is that 
whenever you start creating these, putting these together, you start getting these ideas like, oh, wow, I'm, I'm realizing the pentatonic is a lot of these licks that I love to do. It's like, if you do like, it's like, whoa, that was all pentatonic. Like, it's it's like, whoa, what did that, where did that come? Like, it's crazy how much, uh, how much licks are created by the pentatonic scale. And so the reason why it's easy, and I, I kind of said this a little bit before, but just to say it again, the reason why it's so, it's easier to create licks with the pentatonic scale is because it's like a shell of whatever key that you're in, a, a shell of the chord. So it's not really hitting, it, it can kind of go with most, a lot of chords because it's, it's kind of just hitting what's necessary, the skeleton of it. But it's not really hitting all the colors that are like, so highlighting the colors within the chord like modes would do. So, so when I do this, it could go with just about any, almost any major chord I could play, you know, like on, um, on the one, you know, whatever key I'm in. All right, and so, and, and it just, yeah, if it's all a major chord or if it's a minor chord, then you do minor pentatonic, which we'll go over that in the next lesson. But for now, what I want you to do is I want you to take these, these exercises and I want you to practice them. And, what, and as you practice them, practice them with a metronome. Because when you lock into a metronome, it, it pushes you to get it almost perfect because a metronome is not changing. It's the same thing every single time. So just practice with that and it really, really will help you. And um, as the lessons progress and as I do more pentatonic scales, I'll, I'll do more exercises for it. I'll do more um, licks and different things to kind of help you expand on this. But I wanted to give you just something to start with and something just so you know all the foundation uh, foundations of the uh, pentatonic scale. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you like these videos and you want to keep getting more, getting more of them, uh, hit the subscribe button below and hit that little notification bell because whenever you hit that bell, you, you are notified as soon as I post any new videos. So feel free to do that and hit me up on, in the comments section or on my Instagram at tdykes and I will be sure to respond to you. Thank you guys for watching.